Hey guys, it's Megan and welcome to today's video. I have quite a big Dollar Tree haul to share with you guys. I posted a Dollar Tree shop with me a few days ago and so some of that stuff is from this, some of this stuff is from that trip, but I also stopped by Dollar Tree another time and so I have a couple things from that trip as well. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you love Dollar Tree hauls and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would love for you to subscribe. But now, let's hop into the things that I picked up. I picked up a good amount of 4th of July stuff, but I also picked up some other stuff that's not 4th of July, so I'm gonna start with the non 4th of July stuff first. If you saw my shop with me, you will have seen that I found these little feather um, trinket trays. What do they actually call them? Feather shaped trinket tray. Ha, look at that. So I got it in the white one, and then of course I had to get it in the gold. I love these so much. I think they're so pretty. I actually think I'm going to use one of them on my nightstand and another one in my jewelry area. But obviously you can put like keys on them or anything. I think that these will make great little gifts for people. And I actually gave one as a gift to one of my friends. It was her birthday. And so I added this into like her little birthday basket thing that I made for her. And yeah, so I think these are so freaking cute and I can't believe they were only a dollar. The next thing I picked up is this mermaid nail clipper. Oh my gosh, I could not pass this up. Look how cute this is as a little baby one and the big one. I'm obsessed with this. My daughter hasn't even seen that I bought this yet, so I think I'm gonna give her the little one and then I'm gonna keep the big one because I'm obsessed. The next thing that I picked up was just some coconut oil. This is 100% pure refined. Um, I did not get this for cooking. Uh, it says ingredients, just coconut oil. I use coconut oil to take off my makeup every day. Well, I don't wear makeup every day. The days that I have makeup on, I use coconut oil to take it off my face. I just, I have for years. I really like it um, to do it that way. And I was out of coconut oil. And I saw that Dollar Tree had some coconut oil kind, but it, I forget exactly what it was called, but it was in like the makeup area. And I looked at the ingredients of it and it had a whole bunch of stuff other than coconut oil in it. So I skipped past this one to the food area and they had just the regular coconut oil. So this probably is not the best coconut oil to use if you are cooking and you want like a real good coconut oil, but for taking off your makeup, this will do just fine because coconut oil can be very expensive sometimes. If you saw my Dollar Tree shop with me recently, you will have seen that I found this picture. I think it goes like this. I love this picture so much. I really wanted to find two of these because I had a specific place in my mind that I wanted to utilize them in my dining room. I love having like a tropical -y green feel for the spring and summer in my, you know, house. And I just loved this picture so much. I don't know what it is about it, but it just drew me to it, but I couldn't find two of them. So I'm on the hunt for one more of these if I can find it. I've looked at two different ones. Two different stores haven't been able to find it yet but i just really love this so if you have um you know that like tropical feel that you're going for i think this is a really pretty picture to add in if you can find it at dollar tree another thing that you might have seen that i saw at dollar tree and i said screw it i'm getting it is this wall sticker i've seen multiple people haul this i've seen bargain bethany do a diy with this i don't know what it is about this pattern about this look but I love it. I am the queen though of buying wall stickers and never actually using them. But I'm going to use it this time. I'm not sure where I'm going to use it at yet. I think I might use it in my daughter's playroom, but I kind of also like want to make it like chic looking and maybe even kind of pair it with the, I don't know, maybe not, not, not a pair with that. I don't know, but I just, I've got to use it. I have to use it. I'm going to use it. I know a lot of people use these wall stickers as like binder covers and notebook covers and things like that, which I think is a great idea to use as well. Um, but just, I, I just think that this is so cute. Again, absolutely loving the tropical -y look for the summertime. And I do live in Florida, so we have tropical, you know, palm trees and it's very tropical feeling here anyway. So I just feel like this fits in and I'm excited to have it. I picked up these paper plates they just look like this. I wish that this paper plate would have been round and had this pattern all in it. 
Um, but you know, I can't like change it. So I went ahead and got it anyways because I still think it's super cute for the summertime. If you've watched my channel for long, you know that I'm a sucker for Dollar Tree plates and napkins. So I had to pick these up because it's summer. It's tropical. I had to. Next thing I picked up is this I am a huge fan of this fabric softener. My brother actually turned me on to this. It's so cheap. Obviously, I got it from Dollar Tree, and it says that it does 11 small loads, but they also sell this at Walmart for pretty cheap because my brother got it from Walmart, and um, it makes your clothes smell really good. I really like it a lot. I think I've actually gotten more than 11 loads of use out of this, but I just love the smell. I'm one that will switch up fabric softeners and detergents some, just depending on the way I'm feeling and what kind of smell I want to go for, but right now I'm absolutely loving this. And along with this, I got the dryer sheets to um, kind of pair with it. I have been using these dryer sheets too for a couple of weeks, and I'm just repurchasing both of these. Love them. I haven't had a problem with that. I think my clothes smell really good and I just use different kinds of detergent but it seems to have matched, meshed well with the detergents that I've been using as well. So loving these and you gotta love that you can get them for a dollar. Sure, if you buy a bigger pack, it ends up probably being, you know, a better deal but I don't, it's only three of us in the house so we don't go through laundry that, laundry detergent and stuff like that super, super quick. Um, so I can get away with using this for like a couple weeks. The next thing I picked up is so random, but I don't remember ever seeing this at the Dollar Tree before. Maybe they've had it there. I don't know, but I picked up some of this drain stuff. It's like, I guess like a Drano. In my daughter's bathroom, the sink just doesn't drain that great. So I needed to get some Drano. And when I saw this at the Dollar Tree, I was like, well, let me try this out. So I haven't tried this yet. I don't know if it works as well as Drano. I know that Drano can get kind of expensive. Um, so we'll see how this works. Hopefully it works really well. This works fast to cut through grease and hair. If any of you guys have used this, let me know how you think it works and um, we'll see. In my last Dollar Tree haul, I showed that I got a couple of these water bottles. I got a couple more. Right now I am collecting a few of these. I'm going for like 10 that I'm going to have on hand and then maybe a few more, but I do want to use these instead of my last Dollar Tree haul but I'll say it again in case you missed that one, that I want to have these on hand in case a guest comes over and when they're leaving, they want a bottle of water, I wanna feel fancy and give them a bottle of water in this and give them a glass, you know, bottle of water and that way they can keep it and use it and always think about us when they use it. Not that that's really what matters, but I just wanna feel fancy like, here you go, here's your water. That's it. And a lot of you guys commented that you thought that was a great idea. So hopefully you guys are all feeling fancy with me with our cool dollar water bottles. The next thing I picked up was this whoop mat, but I was thinking of like putting the water ball bowl like right in one of the O's. I thought that would be cute and then kind of like, I don't know, you know, but I just liked it for a buck. I wanted to get a new little mat to put underneath their water um, anyways, so. I had to grab it. Okay, so that is it for all of the non 4th of July stuff. Now let's move into the 4th of July stuff. I got this bow. I love this bow so much. It's just a burlap um, looking bow with this, you know, pattern on it. Love it so much. Think I'm going to use it for a DIY. They also have this one in white, and I wish I would have grabbed that one too. Um, so hopefully when I go back, they will have the white one because I kind of want both. Um, but I love this so much. I think this would be so cute if you have a farmhouse style and you're decorating for 4th of July, this would fit in really well. Also the white one too. They also had other ones too that I bought last year and I still have and I love. I just love their bows. Every season when they come out with these bows, I think they do a really great job with them. So I love this bow. It's a lot to talk about for one little bow, but I love it. Next up, I got some 4th of July socks. They look like this. I did not get them for me, I got them for my husband. He loves like funny socks or silly socks, novelty socks, whatever you wanna call it. And I thought that he would like to have these, you know, for a different Memorial Day, Labor Day, 4th of July, all that stuff. Um, and just to have, just to wear whenever he feels like being patriotic. So I thought that he would get a kick out of these. He has the pizza socks that I got from Dollar Tree. He wears them all the time. I wish I would've got him a couple pairs of those because he's like wearing them out. But I love looking at Dollar Tree to see what kind of socks they have because 
I'm quite a big fan of the Dollar Tree socks. For me, my husband, my daughter, love some Dollar Tree socks. The next thing I picked up is this ribbon. I thought this ribbon was really pretty. They, again, they had this ribbon in white, just like the um, bow that I got. But I love this for, obviously, you can use it for DIYs, lots of different things that you want to use it for, but could not pass this bubby up. I also grabbed this little mason jar with the handle on it. They had it in blue, I think, too, and then a clear. But I got the red to use as a DIY for 4th of July, so I'm glad that I found this. I wanted to get two of them, they only had one in red, so I will be on the hunt for one more of these in red. Next thing, I picked up some 4th of July straws, nothing crazy about them, I just thought they were cute. They also had star ones um, in silver and in blue, I think, um, but I just got this one because I really liked it a lot, and um, yeah, they're straws. The next thing I picked up are some of these blue hydrangeas. I got these for a DIY. I thought they looked pretty good, so I got two of these. I also picked up two of these. I think these are everything. I love that they are the metal-y tin look. Um, I think these are so cute. You could obviously do little DIYs with them or just use them on their own, but I wish I had like 20 of these to place all around. Uh, my patio and stuff, but I figure two will be a good start. Maybe I'll get some more, but I just really like these a lot, um, more than like the little plastic ones that they have. I just think this looks so chic, and I could see these at like Kirkland's or Pottery Barn for way more than a dollar. This year we are having a 4th of July party, and so I thought that these little paper trays would be so cute to have for like barbecuing and stuff. Um, there's only six of the paper trays though that come in one pack so I do have to get some more they had it in this pattern like this but they also had it in I think like the flag the American flag pattern as well which I thought was really cute too I might get a couple of each just so I have a mixture um, but yeah I mean how cute is this to put food in I just think it's so cute I don't remember them having this last year so I got the paper trays and I also picked up this hot dog pack there's 16 in this hot dog pack, so obviously it's better than the six in the other. I'll still need to get some more of these, I'm pretty sure, but they're only a buck, and they're so cute, and I just love them. The next thing I picked up are these star mercury glass looking things. Um, obviously, you can do whatever you want with these. This has a little bit of a purple undertone to me, but it's still like you can look at it and tell that it's blue, especially if you already have 4th of July decor up, you know it's gonna, you know, fit in. Um, but it is a little on the purpley side, but I just, just love the look of it so much. I love that it's silver on the inside. You can obviously use these for lots of different things. You could put dips in here, you could put little, you know, candies in here. Um, you can put a candle in here, lots of different things that you can do with these. These would be cute on a food station area, just kind of spread out as just decor. I just love these. So I got two, no, I got one of the blue. I got two of the clear silvery looking ones, which I absolutely adore as well. Love them. That's why I got two of this one because I really love this one. And then of course I had to go ahead and get the red one. Looks the same. All of them have silver on the inside, but just love these. What a great little, you know, 4th of July decor find for a dollar. And, you know, I just love them. We are winding it down. The next thing that I grabbed are these police mats. I thought these would be so perfect for 4th of July decor. They also had these in black and white. I showed them in my shop with me. Um, but when I saw these, I was like, this is so cute for 4th of July. I was looking on like, it was either Kirkland's or Pottery Barn or Pier One or something. I was looking at their 4th of July decorations and I saw this placemat, a placemat similar to this. And I thought it was really cute, but it was like six bucks or something like that that I did not want to spend on having to buy like multiples of them. And then when I saw this at Dollar Tree, I was like, yes, give this to me. So I love this. I think this would be really cute. Um, under food, if you're having like food stations, obviously you can use it if you're doing like 4th of July tablescape. You can just use it in different areas just as a pop of like, you know, color for 4th of July. But I also really liked the black and white ones too. I kind of wish I would have grabbed some of those just to have 
maybe for around Halloween. I don't know. Now I feel, why do I do this to myself? I start talking about what else they had and then I talk myself into why I then need to go back and buy that. I don't need the black one. I don't need this either, but I want it. I don't want the black one. Oh, well, regardless, I thought these were a really great find. So I did pick up four of these um, and I'm excited to put these to use. I should have gotten six though. Dang. So now I'll be going, buying two more of the red and six of the black. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But I'm gonna at least buy two more of the red if I can find it. The last two things I picked up are both 4th of July banners. I got this one that is felt with the stars and that's the little pattern of the stars. It says it's nine feet, so it's quite long. Um, and I just really liked this one a lot. I feel like you could jazz it up and add something to the middle of the stars if you wanted to, or you could keep it plain. So I like that. I'm not sure if I'm going to add something to it, but regardless, it will get used and I'm looking forward to using it. And then the other one that I got is this flag banner that also says it's nine feet. It looks like this. I love that it's like a canvasy. It's not plastic. It's not paper. It feels like, like, um, I don't know if canvas is the right word, but it's not plastic and it's not paper and it feels like a, like, or like a burlap. Maybe it's like a burlap. I, I, but is burlap and listen, I don't know all the terms of everything. I like it. It doesn't look like super flimsy and cheap and it's kind of the same material as the bow but in blue and it does have some of that burlap and it has um, um, like twine, rope, whatever you want to sit. And that's, that's twine um, as the, you know, thing that holds it all together. So I really like this look. Again, I think this will be really cute for like farmhouse decor, um, if you're decorating for 4th of July or, you know, any kind. Do modern farmhouse, do touches of farmhouse whatever i think this would be really cute so that is everything that i picked up at dollar tree it was quite a bit yes i do know that um but i love everything that i picked up there were things that i saw that i wanted to get but i just resisted on like those cute little gold white and black animals i really really debated on getting those but i really didn't have a specific use in my head for them um and there was a few other things that i saw that i just resisted but i'm super happy with all these let me know in the comments below what was your favorite thing that i hauled and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you're new please subscribe to my channel i would really appreciate it stay tuned for tomorrow's video because i'm doing something a little bit different but kind of like things I've done, I'm doing home decor from Dollar Tree, like the way I use it. Um, I have a lot of people that leave me comments and send me messages asking me to show how I use the stuff that I haul. So it inspired me to start showing you guys how I am using these different things in my home. I know that I tend to show more of the holiday stuff um, that I use in my home when I show like my holiday home decor tours and DIYs and such, but I do want to start showing um, you know, just how I use everyday things that I find at Dollar Tree as well as holiday stuff. So stay tuned for that tomorrow. And I think that's it for today. So I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.